I've been waiting to do this video for a very, very long time. I was actually surprised that a lot of Berserk content has actually been really picking up with a lot of people. So this is going to be my ode to you guys. This is one of my hallmarks in my collection. I love this thing so, so much. And I hope you guys will as well. And I'll show it to you. Just look at how big and giant he is. Oh my god, just look at him. So big and gigantic. And this knife is... I can literally just kill someone with this. Oh, great. This thing is... I've been waiting to show this to you guys for a very long time. This is the creme de la creme. This is one of my favorite pieces in my collection, both in my anime and video game collection. This is number 121, Art of War, Guts Berserker Armor Figure with the Crocodile Statue Base. This is one of my prized possessions. I love this figure to death, and it's absolutely gorgeous, and it's detailed. If you guys don't know what Art of War is, they're a company based out in Tokyo, Japan. They are this great, beautiful company. They're mostly known for doing anime polystone figures, but mostly, at the end of the day, Berserk is what they love. They mostly do berserk and with each figure they have been doing stellar and stellar and stellar jobs if you just look at the photos you can see they've been getting better over time so this specific one depicts the battle where guts is on the beachhead in the millennium falcon arc i think it's volume 29 he's basically chopping crockies left and right he's just going off out of them he's doing his business so pretty much this statue actually depicts that it's absolutely beautiful all right, let's move on to the box. This thing is ginormous. It's it's fucking huge. Holy shit. Honestly, it didn't even fit in my light box, so I couldn't take screens of that. So I apologize for the off-screen photos. I don't like doing that, but here it is. Pretty much, it's this huge, huge box that encases everything inside. On the front, it pretty much says Art of War. It says Guts. It says every, all the info that you need to know. It even gives you the number as well. On the top, I actually really like it as well because they actually put a little bit of metal parts on it. On the, on the four corners, it basically has these little metal parts that kind of looks like little metal rivets. It makes the box look heavy and it just makes it look great. I really, really love the way of this design. And when you pull the top off, you can pretty much see inside it has a styrofoam box that says Art of War much it's embossed on the top when you open that up of course the figure is housed inside i didn't put the figure in here but it has sponges it has cushions it has everything to make sure that the figure is completely housed very comfortably inside and it does look great in there so pretty much let's move on to the figure all right so here we go guys this is it this is the art of war guts berserker armor figure with a crocodile base he is ginormous he is standing 11 inches tall from base to the tip of the dragon slayer and he's also weighing about maybe two pounds this is polystone and if you don't know what polystone is it is a mixture of polyurethane material with a little bit of stone additives to kind of give it that really hard porcelain type of feel so it does have weight to it that is for sure now to be honest i'm not sure if the entire figure is made out of polystone due to that because the cape feels like it's made out of resin or that some type of material however he also comes with a removable dragon slayer you can basically take it off and put it back on they kind of did this to kind of make sure that it doesn't get damaged inside and of course it's a good move by art of war pretty much has a little metal pin that you put it on so when you slip on the dragon slayer it doesn't really fall off or anything of that sort of course this is a statue it is not going to have articulation in the slightest that is not what you should be expecting what you should be is a beautifully detailed statue it is filled with so many minute little details, it's scary how much Art of War has really put into this figure. I'm going to definitely show you in a bit how it is. But details are crazy from basically his prosthetic arm to his bandaged arm to his dragon slayer to the blood splatters everywhere. It is nuts. And on top of that, they also included a little acrylic base as well as a little metal plaque that basically says uh, Guts Berserker Armor has a number of what it is i think this is number 132 and on the back of course it says art of war it says a little bit of more info but it is a very nice piece you can basically just put it right next to guts and it just gives it that beautiful aesthetic presentation all right and also for the last accessory we were included with a severed arm from one of the crocodiles now this is painted rather beautifully i won't go into the details of this i'll wait for it in a little bit but honestly the detail on this is great it looks fantastic i absolutely love everything about it so let's go into the overall detail of everything 
on this figure. This is what makes it worth the price point. First of all, blood, blood, blood. It's everywhere. It's splattered everywhere under his cloak, under his jawbone, under everything. He's completely covered in blood. And the way they did this was spectacular. They basically splotched it on little spots around the statue. And pretty much it just brings out so much of what makes Berserk. It's the blood and the gore. Now, this is the Berserker armor. The way Moira actually does his cross stitching and his art, it's incredibly detailed right down to the T. And Art of War has not failed in the slightest when it's come to this. If you can actually, you can see chips in the armor, you can see little indentations, you can see rivets and bolts, everything just depicted on the armor. It just looks fantastic. And of course, you can see the knife. Of course, you can see the armor and weapons that Guts wears. You know, he, he has his throwing knife. He has a little bit of his crossbow in his back. He has everything. It, it, it still stuns me to even just look at this. I, I actually take quite a gander looking at this. And of course, his Dragon Slayer is ginormous. Like I said, it's very, very tall. And of course, this one also has blood splatters on it as well. And if you can see down the Dragon Slayer, it also has very noticeable nicks and dents everywhere just to show that the sword has been through a lot of use. It's been through a lot of wear, through a lot of tear. It's it's guts. He is He's the struggler. He knows how to struggle best. That's where the nicks really come in. And of course, you could also see his prosthetic arm. This is actually one of my favorite parts of the entire figure. Pretty much, it, it has his metal arm that we've come to know. Of course, it doesn't come down where he does the arm cannon. But it does have a little spirally metal wire that goes from, from the top to the bottom of his elbow. If you can actually see, it is somewhat pliable. You can move it around. They actually attach it to real wire, and it just looks beautiful. It just adds to the overall aesthetic to the figure. And on the left side, this was when Guts was recovering from many, many, many injuries, and he's wrapped in bandages, and the detail in it is great. You can see the wear and the detail on the actual bandages. You can see maybe some of the blood seeping throughout, just to show that Guts is always trying to push through new boundaries after facing Grunbeld. And on the back of where his cape is, this is what shocked me. You can see little ripples of lines going from the top to the bottom of the cape. It's in a very similar fashion to cross stitching. So basically the very similar art that Moira does, you can depict it here as well. It just looks fantastic. I think my only complaint that I will say about this is the face sculpt of Guts, or rather the paint apps. I don't really like it too much. It looks like Guts, but um, the detailing could be a little bit better. Of course, this is 2005. What am I saying? This is Art of War. They've completely changed in 12 years. They, their aesthetic is completely fantastic. They're almost flawless at this point. And let's continue down to the base. The base is a beautiful gravel sand type of look. It's a very nice base and it adds to the overall aesthetic of the entire figure. And like I said, this was at the, at the beachhead when Guts was fighting the crocodile. So they just did a fantastic job on this. And moving on to the crocodiles, honestly, this is what's amazing. First of all, you can see the little scales and the teeth that the crocodile has you can see his pupilless eyes and one of my favorite parts is that they actually put a very nice clear coat on it it's very shimmery it's very shiny it's made to look like the very glistening and slimy look to to what a crocodile actually looks when he's coming out of the water and the art of war just knocked it out of the park with that this all extends to the actual the detachable piece that I actually mentioned a bit earlier. You can place it anywhere you want to on the base. So you could put it next to his arm, his, his leg, anywhere, wh whatever your fucking heart desires. It, it's not me. This is for you. But one of my favorite parts, too, is the way the blood is actually seeping out of the appendages. So basically, you can see the blood and even bone that's slowly kind of gurgling out of the out of the appendage it, it looks nasty it looks disgusting it looks beautiful it's the style in this is just great i i just can't really get enough of it i really hope these pictures are doing justice for you guys all right with being piece 132 out of 400 this went for about 25,000 yen or roughly $250, but of course this is back in 2005. This is a limited run of 400. It's gonna be incredibly difficult to get. I got really, really lucky. Shoutouts to a really good homie of mine, Reggie from Power Anime, who's now with Bandai. Thank you so much, brother. If you're watching this video, I really, really do appreciate it. I still have it, and I'm still cherishing it to bits, so thank you, brother. I really do appreciate it. And of course, I wanted to show you Berserk fans one of my hallmarks, one of my favorite pieces. So, of course, thank you so, so much to all of you guys. It is from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. I've been getting a lot of love with the Berserk PS2 review. 
with a chapter overview of, of 348. It's been going great. So thank you guys. And of course, if you're interested in looking at my other videos, you can do that as well. I also Twitch from Monday through Friday, every weekday as much as I can at 9 p.m. So be sure to check me out, keep updated with my Twitter on schedule times, and definitely watch me out for the next video.